Craig Halgard with your financial issues ag update. Well, U.S. corn inspections were pathetic at 13.6 million bushels uh, in yesterday's report, which is well below the needed weekly average of 43.9 million bushels if we were to hit the USDA's annual forecast for exports of 1,775,000,000 bushels. Poor export inspections, coupled with uncertainty about when China may enter the market, kept prices on the defensive yesterday. As I record this, the overnight spot corn futures are trading a penny higher. Soybeans were weaker all day long yesterday and settled near the lows. We saw funds selling 10,000 contracts of beans, and the March futures closed below the 200-day moving average, which could bring in additional technical selling. The trade was nervous that we haven't seen any Chinese buying confirmed. Weekly export inspections were solid at 44 million bushels, but it needs to be noted that Brazilian beans continue to be offered cheaper into China than what uh, the offerings out of our Pacific Northwest are. The market is fearing it's going to have to wait till summer to see any significant uptick in Chinese buying. In the overnight trade, spot soybean futures are trading unchanged. Wheat was supported by concerns over reduced production from Australia, Russia, and the former Soviet Union countries due to weather concerns, as well as U.S. farmers intending to plant the lowest total number of wheat acres since record-keeping began. Also helping uh, support prices yesterday were the expectations that China will in fact buy some wheat. Yesterday's weekly export inspections didn't reflect that. At 16 million bushels, we fell short of the 20.5 million that we need to average on a weekly basis to hit the USDA's projection. Wheat's recent rally may be a bit overdone, but weather and supply uncertainties remain and that could continue to support this market. In the overnight trade, we have Chicago trading two cents higher, Kansas City is unchanged, and Minneapolis is up three quarters of a cent as I record this. Cotton futures had a terrible outing, with the March futures closing below the $70 level. For the session, we're down 201 points to settle at 69.24, and the overnight trade spot futures are trading down an additional 24 points. Livestock futures retreated yesterday as well. At the close, April live cattle futures were 2.5 cents lower, while March feeder cattle were 32.5 cents lower for the session. Lean hog futures also registered a loss, with April futures closing 27.5 cents lower. Class 3 milk futures, on the other hand, had another positive outing, with February futures finishing the session 11 points higher as they settled at 17.54. Cash livestock markets were split, with cattle slightly softer, while hogs enjoyed a good solid day. At the closing bell, we had choice beef boxes 13 cents lower to close at 214.51, while selects were down a penny as they settled at 213.47. Pork carcass values were $1.08 cents higher, so they finished off the day at $78.19 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.